Hi and how are you all today? The question says differentiate under root tan x with respect to x from first principle. Here let y be equal to under the root tan x. Right? Or we can say that y plus change in y is equal to under the root tan x plus change in x. Right? Further, let this be the first equation and this be the second equation. Now on subtracting the second equation from the first we get change in y is equal to under the root tan x plus change in x minus under the root tan x. Further, we have now it as, now let us rationalize the numerator by multiplying and dividing it by under the root tan x plus change in x my plus under the root tan x. Similarly, this will be the term in the denominator also. And on doing so, we have it as a minus b, a plus b will give us a square minus b square. That will be tan x plus change in x minus tan x upon under root tan x plus change in x plus under the root tan x. Now further, we can write it as sin x plus change in x upon cos x plus change in x, right? Minus, similarly it can be written as, tan x can be written as sin x upon cos x and the numerator denominator remains the same. Here we are not changing tan into sin and cos. Now further we have on taking the LCM we have sin x plus change in x into cos x minus sin x cos x plus change in x upon under root tan minus under root tan x. Change in y upon change in x is equal to limit. This approaches to 0. Sin change x upon change x upon cos x cos x plus change in x and this all these part will be in bracket. Further it can be now written as On using the limits that is 1 upon cos x into cos x under the root tan x plus under root tan x. This is 1 upon cos square x can be written as secant square x upon 2 under root tan x. Right, so this is the required answer to this question. Hope you liked it. Have a nice day.